I'm going to show you how to reharden your point shoes, especially the box and the shank, so you can prolong their life. Now, first and foremost, it's important to know that you should not do this to shoes that have gone to mush because you won't save them. This is only going to work on shoes that are either new or just been worn a few times. Now, in some people's case, the box and the platform are the things that tend to go first. And in other people's cases, it's the shank, which is the hard part of the shoe. In my case, mine's kind of equal, depending on what kind of shank I have in my shoes. In this case, these are super soft shank, so they go quite quickly. Um, what you need is some shellac, in my case I have bought this one which is a French polish which is basically shellac. You can buy this in hardware stores or online or places like that and it's basically a liquid which is quite thick and it's kind of like a brownie colour. It smells quite strong so please make sure you use it in a well ventilated area. You will also need a brush of some kind. I'm using a nice small paint brush. And another method is using super glue. This is Loctite super glue. But you can use other brands. Americans tend to use jet glue. Um, but basically, you do want to make sure that you do this to shoes that are new or just been worn a few times. And it will prolong their life. And let's get on with it. Another key thing to mention is you want to allow your shoes around 48 hours to dry once you've applied the shellac to them. With glue, you can sometimes get um, glue that is faster drying, so you can do this in between performances and stuff without a problem. But with shellac, you do really need to allow about 48 hours for it to dry. Make sure that you do this in an area where you're not gonna get it on things or your clothes, and if you're gluing, be sure not to stick your fingers together. What you want to do is make sure your shoes are dry from their previous wear and basically you're going to how I do it there's many other many methods but this is how I do it I get my shellac this is quite tricky to do whilst filming it at the same time so I can show you get a view and you see in in the box going down to the platform well basically you want to swirl it around the tip of the platform. You only want a minuscule amount, you don't want to overdo it because it will feel really bumpy when you're on point in the shoe. You want a nice smooth finish. So we take the shellac and basically you're just going to carefully look down into your shoe whilst you're holding the shoe so you can gradually see what you're doing it. You just want to pour a little amount, swirl it into the platform and as you can see let me bend my shank back. Can you see that? I've just swirled it into the platform. And it's now in there like so. You can do a few coats. But I would suggest just doing a little coat first. So I'm going to do the other platform in the other shoe. So pull back your drawstring so you don't want to get the shellac on it. Hold your ribbons out of the way. Get your shellac. Tilt it at an angle, look down into your shoes, you see what you're doing. Pour it in, swirl it round. Now sometimes you may find you might dribble it onto the drawstring or into the box like I have with this one. But it's really not that much of a problem because no one's going to see inside your shoe. Now I'm going to show you how to do the box. So take your shoe. Take your brush, dip your paintbrush in, like so, don't overload the brush, and basically paint the inside of your box with the shellac. You want to make sure that you cover inside of the box completely 
So all down the sides of the box. And in troublesome areas that you find your shoe starts to break down the fastest. So I'm just doing that now and then I'll show you once I've applied it so you can see roughly where I do mine to. Don't worry if you get it on the actual inner sole shank part. Because like I said, no one sees inside your shoe, so it really doesn't matter. Some people also put their shoes in the oven on a really, really low heat, like really low, to help them dry out quicker. But I don't really recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing. So just coating all my box, all down the sides of the wings as well. So I get a bit more support out of this shoe. And it's also worth mentioning to you that to also prolong life your shoes, please take them out of your dance bag every time you get home and allow them to air dry in a cool place. And if you're do doing point every day, try to rotate shoes, so have a few pairs on the go so you can get more out of your shoes. It's always best to put your point shoes into a nice mesh bag after use so then they can air properly and then when you get home take them out of the bag and allow each shoe to dry on its own that's where a lot of people go wrong is they forget that you can't put shoes into plastic bags or you can't leave them in your dance bag because they just will go to mush basically right so with this one you can probably see hopefully that I've now got all that lovely shellac onto the box, like so. See that? Now I'm just doing a nice thin layer because my shoes, I can feel it already, I can feel how much of a difference that has made to my shoe, which is fantastic. So I'm just gonna do the other shoe for you now. Same thing, dip your brush in, don't overload your brush, and paint all down the sides of your box, the wings, Don't worry if you get it on the shank. And there we go. Right, that's another one done. So now, I'm just going to leave those there. I've got a problem with my shanks going, and I tend to wear the soft shanks anyway, so no wonder why. As you can see, my shanks are a bit bendy, but it is a super soft shank. Anyway, to help me get a bit more wear out of these shoes, I'm going to take my glue. First of all, I'm going to bend the heel back so you can see. I'm going to apply this glue down at the sides here. You can also use um, glue in the platforms, but I like to shellac and use glue down the sides of my shanks. So be careful with this, make sure you don't glue your fingers together. So basically I'm just going to pull it down the sides of my shoe. Beware, because when you've got really strong glue, I'm not kidding, it is strong, and this stuff really is. And it does dry quick, so you really don't want to glue your fingers together. And now, should feel some difference already. I certainly can. I'm just going to do down the sides up here. So just carefully apply it. Down there, close my shoe, just kind of like pinch it together. Okay, that one's done. See, it's very quick and easy to do, and it'll help prolong your shoes a bit longer. It's, it's quite good to do when they're new, actually, in my opinion. So I'm just going to do the same with this one. Peel back the 
pill piece and apply down the side. You may want to do it around your demi point area as well if you feel that's where your shoes are going soft as well. So I might just put a little bit around my demi point. So I'm just going to push it down there. Squeeze it a bit together. So again, put it down the demi point areas. It really doesn't matter if you're a bit messy with this, you know. Just as long as it's helping last the shoes a bit longer, all is well. Remember to put the lid back onto your glue. So there we have it. I'm just going to show you in a bit more detail now. So as you can see, I've now Got my shoes lovely and shellacked inside on the platform and around the box and the wings. I'll show you the other shoe. As you can see, I've also applied glue down the sides of the shank.